Hey guys, today I want to show you a new cool ZBrush plugin called Ref Switcher, which should make our 3D artist's life easier. So, for example, we are sculpting someone's portrait from references, and we want to achieve a maximum of likeness. By the way guys, who do you think it is? You can pause the video right now and type your guess in the comments, and I will check did my years of experience make any sense, or for me it is better to continue scripting. Ok, I hope you made the right choice. And now let's load some of the references. It was Elon Musk. Let's add this one to the spotlight. And roughly match the camera with the reference. Usually it takes some time to make it precise, and the main challenge is to find the correct field of view. It's ok for now, and here where we need our plugin. Let's grab here Z plugin, ref switcher, and press the save you one button. Now the camera, as well as the reference placement, has been saved. So let's make a stress test for it. We can turn off spotlight, change camera, pen and scroll document, change fov, break whatever camera settings you want, and don't care at all, because once you press lot v1, the whole settings goes back. Now let's add one more reference. So texture, import, let it be this one, add into spotlight, the old one could be deleted, and match in the camera. So guys, with this tool you can sculpt your mesh and look at it from different angles and in a moment jump back to compare it with the reference. Ok, let's save this view as view 2. Now we can switch really quickly between the saved views. Moreover, we can assign a hotkey to each view. Let it be K1 and K2 on the keyboard. Now we can press 1, press 2, 1. Two, one. Let's add one more reference, save view and assign a hotkey. Now I am pressing 1, 2, 3, 1 and that's what I call Trev Switcher. The reason why I prefer to work with spotlights is because you can quickly show and hide the image by Shift plus Z key, as well as control the opacity value. You can also override the exist view. For example, you found out that you can do better camera matching. Now all you need to do is just to press the save view button once again. The override warning pops up. Click to confirm and it's done. One more cool thing, guys, is that even the document size has been changed, the plugin takes care of it as well. We can see a warning that the current document size does not match the saved one. Confirm resizing and follow the instructions. Drag and drop the model, switch to edit mode and load view once again. Yeah, that's it. I made 10 view slots available, so guys, if you need more, just let me know in the comments. The view data is saved in the plugin folder separately from the model. So you can work with ZTL, ZPR, even with OBJ format. For plugin it does not matter. Hope you guys find it helpful. I use this technique each time when I need to sculpt something from photos. For example, this monument was done in such way. Also, I have an idea to add the folder support inside the plugin. If you think it's a good idea, please like this video and I will implement this feature as soon as possible. So, thank you for watching guys, happy sculpting and see you soon.